All right, so let's get Tableau connected to the SQL database we've been using. Right here you can see uh, to a file, if this is something on your local computer or to a server, this is what we want right here. So we've got a bunch of different options. If you click more, you can see a bazillion types of, um, I think mostly SQL based databases. Uh, we're gonna use Microsoft SQL Server. Here's the information we get from the book in the SQL chapter that has the uh, authentication information we need. Again, grab this from your version of the book. Let's sign in. So the one thing I want you to be careful of is when you click and drag a table in here to share it, I'm gonna use Bike Buyers. Notice that the data type for each of these is text. That's likely because of one of two uh, reasons. Either A, the actual data types in the database are text for each of them, or B, it didn't know how to convert it, so it converted it, uh, so whatever data type was in the database was not a, uh, a type that Tableau could interpret or understand, and so it defaulted to a string uh, or a dimension based data type, which allows for the most, uh, it's the most all encompassing uh, data type. So what we'll want to go through and do at some point, we can do this one of two ways. Uh, probably the best way is to come right here and click on those that should be numeric, like marital status numeric. Click on this little ABC, change it to number whole, and same thing with gender numeric, and so you see the different options. Uh, income still doesn't have decimal, so I'll stick with number whole. I think that's what most of these are gonna be. Is this education numeric, yep. And we'll just go through and do that for all of those that are applicable. Now notice I'm doing this for all the, just the ones that we converted to uh, numeric columns. I think they're all in a row in this particular table and data set which makes it nice and easy. Uh, let's keep checking here. Yeah, it's still numeric. But you can see there's lots of other options, date, different types of numbers, and so forth. All right, I think that's it. Education, those are all text, perfect. Let's update now. I'm going to extract so it doesn't continually re-pull the data from the database. It'll extract one set. Uh, if I were to turn this into a live dashboard, for example, I would change it back to the connection to be live. So every time someone pulled it up on a web page, it would repull the latest data. But now, uh, because we changed those to numeric, let's save that. Yep, replace that the one that I had. Now when I come here, it divides them up. Oh, no, it didn't. It still didn't figure them out. So that's it's fine. Let's click and drag commute distance numeric down here to measures. There we go. So, oh, you can see all these that are numbers. I still put them up in dimensions, but I can pull them down here to measures. Before when I did this, if I didn't change the data type first and I just pulled it down here, it would turn it into count of because that's the only function it can use on text. It still thought it was text, but since these are pound signs, I can just pull them down here and it'll treat them as measures. So later on in the book when you get to Azure uh, Machine Learning Studio, you'll find you have to do the same thing whenever you pull data from live databases. You have to go through some conversion process to get them into numbers and that's common.